Hi there folks, it's me, Mandy. <laughs> it's been a long while, but um, anyway. So I think I'll just update you on a few things and I'll try and avoid that annoying vocal thing that I have where I say so a lot. And uh, we'll see where we get this. Um, well, let's see. I can't remember the last thing we talked about, so I'll just quickly go through it. Um, Rue died, we had to put her down in April. Um, or May, yeah, April, uh, she just got to, um, she couldn't get up and down anymore, and she was having accidents in her sleep, so, um, she had a good last day, we took her to a, um, park, I guess you would call it, where she had water access, she didn't go in the water, but she could have if she wanted to, and she just ran on the beach and sniffed around, and, um, then we took her to the vet and had her put down, and the vet was very, they were awesome, they were just amazing, and, that was the end of that, and that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> and then over the summer, we had some losses with the goats. I lost both bucks and a doe, so we're down to three does. Um, I believe it was barber pole. Um, I just I couldn't save them. So. And then uh, I had surgery in September. It was for um, sinuses. Um, I don't really see where it helped me a lot. But maybe it'll become apparent later. Sometimes it's, they say it takes two or three months to really notice any um, improvements. And then during that time, um, Matt's employer cut down his hours. And um, they basically punished him for having to take off when I had surgery, even though he gave notice of, I believe we scheduled it two or three months in advance. So they knew it was coming. Um, I don't know why they did that. But anyway, so he found a new job. Uh, which is great, but um, finances being what they were, I needed to get another job. Or I needed to get a job instead of just being a homeschooling homestead and mama. So I am currently, as of October, employed with our county's um, 911 dispatcher center. Um, I'm currently in training. It's a long training uh, process, just in case you were wondering. <laughs> and then... Um, so I do that from 4 to midnight, and then um, I come home, go sleep, and I get up with the kids around 8 o'clock and do our homeschooling stuff. Um, I've been behind on my schedules, like trying to figure it all out, and that's why I haven't really been filming, just trying to figure things out and uh, around the house and stuff. But I'm hoping to get back to it. Um, currently, I am filming a um, what we had for dinner uh, for the week, which is interesting because I'm not there, so I'm filming it as I'm making it before I leave. <laughs> um, I hope you'll stay with me as our, the focus may shift a little bit um, in our journey, but I know some of you were worried about what's happening with us, and that's pretty much it. The kids are fine. Um, they're very understanding about me having to work, and Kaz and Bear are really stepping up to do their part, and here we are. Um, Hopefully I'll see you in the next one. If this kind of thing is interesting to you, like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Remember, do what you can with what you got.